Okay, Robert, here's your C3 P3 computer. Uh, I popped off the lid, and already I can see some issues. This thing has definitely got all three of the original capacitors in it, as you can tell by their teal blue color. And all three of them are leaking. This one is the least bad, but you can see it's pretty corroded. And this one is the worst. It's heavily corroded. And some areas around it have some corrosion too. And this one's pretty bad too, and it's actually leaking down towards the, uh, the microprocessor there. Other than that, the board looks okay. Uh, they've definitely been leaking for some time. Looks like this is a uh, 15 megahertz processor. 94 to 95 Ford F-150 looks like. C3 P3. Speed density. Looking at the back of the board. Let's see if there's anything goofy going on here. There's that discoloration from the other side. This thing still has the, uh, uh, like the white lithium grease wiped onto the pins, so you can tell it's never had a chip installed in this computer before. At a glance, everything on the bottom side of the board looks good, other than the discoloration that bled through. All right. Let's turn it on and see what happens. This is the power light, this is the check engine light, and this is the fuel pump light. You'll notice it gets brighter, but it always stays on. You can, you can ignore the always stay on part. That's just because it's an LED bulb. So we turn it on. And the pump should come on for one second. Oh, sorry, I have the... Let's start that over again. I had the check engine light switch on. We turn it on. Check engine light comes on. Fuel pump should have come on for one second. Let me turn the key on. Let's see. Yeah, it does. So fuel pump and check engine light are working. Five volt regulator is right on the money. And then this switch will tell it to go into code pulling mode, which causes this thing to start blinking a two digit trouble code. Here we go. That's eight blinks. Seven blinks or six blinks. It doesn't matter how many blinks. What we're seeing here is that codes are blinking out, and that's what always happens on the bench because we have a almost none of the wires hooked up to it that a car would normally have. The important part is that we see the codes blinking, we see the fuel pump come on, we see the five volt regulator uh, producing five volts. So overall, the computer's functional, but it's definitely got some ser seriously leaking capacitors and chances are it's probably gonna have a little bit of damage on the board. We're gonna have to get rid of the corrosion, get rid of these capacitors, and then inspect and see how bad that damage is. If any of these tiny little traces are damaged, we'll have to repair them. Reflow some of these solder joints. Let's see if that comes into focus there. That one's the one I'm really worried about. See how even the resistors above it have corrosion. Green crusties there right above it. Yeah, this one's pretty bad. I bet you it probably still works, but maybe the car doesn't run quite right. It's a good candidate for a rebuild. Hopefully we're not too late. All right, next time you see another video from me, it will be the same test with the uh, 
with the computer redone.